the last piece uh, about this, let's go ahead and put this uh, New York Times tear sheet up on the screen. The New York Times uh, take here is that January 6th hearings give Democrats a chance to recast midterm message with the majority at stake. Democrats plan to use the six high profile hearings to refocus voters' attention on Republicans' role in the attack. I mean, spoiler alert, that's not going to happen. People have already, people have processed January 6th, however, they're going to process January 6th. What November is going to be about is how people are feeling about their own bank accounts, the direction of the country right now under Joe Biden. Inflation is the number one issue. Um, you know, we have seen issues like gun violence and abortion become more significant in terms of people's directions. But ultimately, it's not complicated to understand what this election is going to be about. People feel very negative about the economy. They expect there to be a recession. They're getting pay cuts every uh, month and every week because of inflation, and that's what they're ultimately going to vote on. Uh, obviously. I don't understand how they can possibly think this. Recast the midterm message. You know, frankly, they'd be better off going with COVID, and nobody cares about COVID anymore. So this is even lower on the rankings. I just think it's incredible. Like, it's impeachment all over again. Why they are unable to just reckon with what's really happening uh, in terms of what voters care about. You know, Joe Biden just today hit the lowest ever in the history of his presidency, lower than Donald Trump's approval rating, some 31%. And not just that, he's got a 56% disapproval. It's 20 some percent approval amongst independents. What's the number one reason that people are upset? Inflation. What's the number two reason people are upset? Also inflation. Number three is probably healthcare, which also has to do with inflation because that continues to go up. Number four is like housing. So does that have to do with any of this? And the media obsession, anytime, you know, I had to stop, I had to turn off uh, phone notifications for these media companies. They'll be like, so-and-so was just served with a, uh, was, I'm like, I don't care. I literally don't care. And I know from doing this show that other people don't care. A lot more people that don't watch the mainstream media, which is the vast majority of people in this country who would either tune them out or tune in to something else, care about something far differently, which is why when we do stories about the trailer park going up, like that's the stuff that really affects people's lives. And they have no seeming connection. Media especially, throw this one up there, I love this, from Yoimish Alcindor over at NBC News. Democrats need to, quote, make people care. This is what they always say about the January 6th hearings more than gas prices or <laughs> baby formula. Yeah, you should care more about the January 6th committee and about a seditious conspiracy charge against some cranks in the Proud Boys more than whether you can feed your child or drive to work. I mean, this is the height of the way that they see the world and why what they feel like is most important continues to just be a massive disconnect from everybody else. Yeah, I mean, there's just no denying that. And I think she's not wrong in that if Democrats could pull off the magic trick of making yeah. January 6th the number one issue, oh, that yeah, would be, be a much off. better landscape for them for the midterms. But um, that is clearly not going to happen at this point. And, and I also think it's important to remember that part of why they, you know, keep grasping for something like, let's just talk about January 6th again, um, is because to focus on the issues that people are telling pollsters are their number one issues day to day would require actually doing work, mm -hmm. would require actually, you know, challenging their corporate donors, would require actually, you know, having some political imagination, having some political courage, having some plan and vision for the future. And, they, you know, that's why they continue to fall on these, um, to fall back on these types of issues rather than the material issues, because it's easier to put together a multimedia presentation reminding you how terrible January 6th was than it is ultimately to sort of challenge corporate power and get inflation under control, deal with gas prices, um, chart a new future for the country. So I think that's why they continue to fall back on these types of things. Absolutely. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.